since I set eyes on him. The feminine character and the ideal of femininity on which it is modeled are products of masculine society. The image of undistorted nature arises only in distortion as its opposite. Where it claims to be humane, masculine society imperiously breeds in woman its own corrective and shows itself through this limitation implacably the master. The feminine character is a negative imprint of domination, but therefore equally bad. Whatever is in the context of bourgeois delusion called nature is merely the scar of social mutilation. If the psychoanalytical theory is correct that women experience their physical constitution as a consequence of, ca of castration, their neurosis gives them an inkling of the truth. The woman who feels herself a wound when she bleeds knows more about herself than the one who imagines herself a flower because that suits her husband. The lie consists not only in the claim that nature exists where it has been tolerated and adapted, but what passes for nature in civilization is by its very substance, furthest from all nature, its own self-chosen object. The femininity with which appeals to instinct is always exactly what every woman has to force herself by violence, masculine violence, to be, a she-man. One need only have perceived, as a jealous male, how such feminine women have their femininity at their fingertips, deploying it just where needed, flashing their eyes, using their impulsiveness, to know how things stand with the sheltered, unconscious, unmarred by intellect. Just this unscathed purity is the product of the ego, of censorship, of intellect, which is why it submits so unresistingly to the reality principle of the rational order. Without a single exception, feminine natures are conformist. The fact that Nietzsche's scrutiny stopped short of them, that he took over a second-hand and unverified image of feminine nature from the Christian civilization that he otherwise so thoroughly mistrusted, finally brought his thought under the sway after all of bourgeois society. He fell for the fraud of saying the feminine when talking of women. <coughs> Hence, the perfidious advice not to forget the whip. Femininity itself is already the effect of the whip. The liberation of nature would be to abolish its self-fabrication. Glorification of the feminine character implies the humiliation of, of all who bear it.